welcome to your reading. This is going to be their true feelings for you. So we're going to tap into your person of interest to see what they're feeling for you right now. So let's tap into tarot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is going to be their true feelings for you. Their true feelings for you, Leo. Their true feelings for you, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why I got like this person feels like you're out of their league. They may, they may just think that. Wow. Yeah. Because like you hold yourself at a really high standard, but you're like really beautiful. And you're really mature. You may be really mature for your age. Or you just come off as like almost even a little stuck up. But like. Or you're very high maintenance in some type of way. Or you just look high maintenance. And this intimidates this person. But their true feelings for you are that they need to match your standards. In order to communicate with you. This makes it a little bit hard for them to do. But they are willing to do it. And they do put you on this pedestal because you just, you're really beautiful or you're really, like there's something about you, like you may have a really good job or you may have like just really high beauty standards or you, there's something about you that puts you on a pedestal or that makes you look like really rich, really, like really high standard. I'm talking like you look like a million bucks <laughs> i'm not kidding you look like a million bucks and like this person feels like they need to definitely give you something like they may want to give you something to show you that they care to show you that they like are serious about you but this person like loves your body they love your hair they love your body they love how you do your makeup this person loves all that about you. They feel like they have to give you something though, like a gift. Like they have to like, see how like spirit is giving you, a spirit could be giving you like this new relationship, this new connection. And I feel like you're going to love it because the way this person is going to treat you is going to be like queen status, not even princess. This is like queen, like they want to treat you like a queen. They want to make you feel extra special. So they're going to really make sure that they tell you really beautiful things. So you may notice that this person talks really highly of you to other people, to their friends, to their family. Or they may just talk highly to you. Like they may tell you like like over the top things. Like you're, you're like you look amazing. You look like a million bucks like I said like they may tell you like these over the top things because they feel like you're over the top like I said like on a 1 to 10 you're like a fucking 20 to this person <laughs> that's just what I'm picking up on you guys like this person really thinks highly of you even if you don't feel like it even if you feel like even if you feel like you're not the best this person feels like you're the freaking best. Like they really love, they really love all, all that and more. <laughs> they love everything. I'm gonna cover that up because yeah, just in case. But um, they definitely want to give you something. I think this could be just like maybe you re recently posted. Like I think you're the type of person you may post really sexy pictures on social media they really love what you post it doesn't matter if it's like super sexy or not but like they love what you post and it makes them want like but it, it gives them like mixed feelings because they want to wife you up because you're wifey material and this may also intimidate this person a little bit that your wifey material but they know that they know that like they know that if they let you go like it'd be like 
I don't know. It'd be a major L. They'd be taking a major L. I love your reading. It's like different. Like they think you're beautiful, but above everything, like they just hold you at a really high standard. Like I'm telling you. Let me, I'm going to clarify this Ace of Pentacles. So they're, if you're not in contact with this person, just be patient. I feel like they're going to be communicating with you soon. Or you're going to be meeting this person very soon. If you haven't met them yet, you may meet them around your work. You may, they may be your coworker. You may work with them with something. They may be on your social media platform or page. So just be patient because I do feel like they're going to be reaching out very soon. Yeah. You may be dealing with a Virgo. Because I have strong Virgo energy. You may have Virgo as your sun sign. This person loves your voice too. They love your voice and they, the queen of wands. So yeah, you're very, they see you as very attractive. Like you're very independent. You're even sassy. Like you're really sassy. You're something about the way you communicate. Like they love this about you. They love your voice. They love the way you communicate. They love the way you um, put yourself out there in front of other people, whether it be on social media or in person, at your job. Um, in your career. Um, I heard, I love how professional you are. Like you may be professional or you may just, you may be a little stuck up. I don't know if I said this already, but like to a point where it's just because you're guarding yourself and you don't let anybody talk to you or you don't let just anybody talk to you. They love this about you. They love that you know your worth and they love that basically you just... These are their true feelings, you guys. Like this is, this may not feel that deep, but it is because this person loves that about you. They know that you're kind of like tapped into like spirituality or like you may be like a witch or you may be into like some sort of like divination. You may be just really intuitive, psychic, or you may just have a cat. This person, I think this person likes your cat. They may like the color of your pet. If it's not a cat, I mean, it just, just be a pet. That's like a really different kind of color. But I feel like you kind of keep to yourself and this person really likes that about you. This is their true feelings for you. They love how you keep to yourself. You basically just focus on you, focus on your money, focus on your work, focus on your career. And this is what they love the most about you. And this is why they're attracted to you. Because you stand out above all the other females out there. Like you just, you may be an introvert or you may just be shy. <laughs> and they kind of love this. Because it doesn't feel like you'd be shy because how beautiful you are. But like. Once this person like got to know you or gets to know you, they're going to see that you're actually shy or you just kind of introverted, you keep to yourself, or you just mind your own business. And this person kind of loves that because they feel like they've never met anybody like you that's like that. Because even though you're very highly attractive, you just don't, you come off as uninterested, kind of bougie, uninterested, kind of like, unbothered by people, unbothered by society's expectations of you. Like you're your own unique self. I'm getting Aquarius energy. You may have Aquarius North Node or you may have like some Aquarius placement that makes you kind of different or kind of introverted in a way. They love your confidence. They love that you work out, but they also love how, I heard how freaky you are. So let me see. I'm going to pull out one of these. So this is how they're feeling about you. Like they feel like they have to reach out to you, your person of interest, or there may be someone new. So just be patient, okay? Patience, long road ahead, reward awaits. They know that like excuse me they know that like 
They have to be patient with you. They know that whatever this patience is leading to, they know it's going to be a huge reward, right? You're like a gift to this person, a gift from the heavens. I heard you're like an angelic presence. You have a beautiful angelic presence. They love this about you or your essence, like your facial features, your beauty is just really angelic. You have angelic beauty, angelic um, beauty or like facial features, your lips, your eyes, like you're very aesthetically pleasing. And this person loves to look at you or look at your pictures. Because this may be somebody on your social media, like I said, that hasn't come out yet, that's about to message you or that has already messaged you. Wow. I want you for myself. Like this person could be a little jealous, possessive, mad obsessed. But I feel like it's more so like that they just want you to themselves because of how beautiful and rare you are. That's what it is. You're rare. An important relationship is here or is about to enter your life. Oh my God, that's exciting. <laughs> I messed up. I'm hurting without you, but I don't want you to know. That's sad. I don't know who that is or who that's for, but that's sad. I fantasize about this. And then you got Capricorn, Scorpio, or Leo. Let's see where this takes us. You make me really happy. I feel a mutual support and love. So they feel at fault for something. They're going to communicate with you if you have this person in your life. If you don't, for some of you, this is a brand new connection, all right? So just be patient. It's like kind of come, it's going to enter your life when you're basically just. When you're over it, you're like, oh, I'm just over it. I don't want anything. See, when you're aligning with your higher self to be... <laughs> when you're aligning with your higher self, how about that? But this is aligning with my higher self to be with you. Gifts, level up. Okay, so that's exactly what I was getting. Like, they want to give you something. They want to gift you a baby too. Like, <laughs> they want to gift you a baby or I don't know what that's about. Queen of Pentacles is like a mom though. The Queen of Wands is too, but more so the Queen of Pentacles with the bunny here. You may be very fertile or you may have really beautiful hips. Really beautiful hips. Your hips don't lie. <laughs> or you look like Shakira. Like you can have that aesthetic or you could be Colombian. You have that aesthetic to you. Or you just look, um, you look, uh, what is it? Exotic. You look really exotic to this person, or you are. You may speak different languages as well. Yeah, because your background, you may have a mixed race background. It's very unique. So that makes you look very aesthetically pleasing. And this person just puts you on a pedestal. That is how I feel about you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye for now.